I'm gonna need exactly 20 seconds to explain what you're about to see. Me and Dave are crooks and committed a horrendous crime at the Pacific Standard Bank. 28 cops are trying to catch us. We have to go south and hold out anywhere on this line for 3 minutes. All minimaps are disabled and lastly, if you wanna join in on this, stick around till the very end and I'll explain how. Go! The time is 1300. The alarms at the Pacific Standard are screaming. The heinous crime, I hear you ask? What if I told you two men ran into the Pacific Standard Bank, asked for the manager, and as he came out, they twisted both nipples 145 degrees with tremendous force. And so, the biggest manhunt Los Santos has ever seen was on the way. We headed straight for the casino parking lot, for a fine selection of cars seems to spawn over there. After a short drive and a quick gander, we saw a beautiful, glorious, white infernus, and thus, the mood for this round has been set. We have the speed, so it was time to play a bit dangerously. <laughs> oh, we headed straight back to the crime scene, but unfortunately, a cop was patrolling near the bank. He's typing. I think he's looking at the car in the middle of the street. He's looking at the car in the middle of the street, man. There was a car yeah. parked in the middle of the street there. I didn't quite know if he indeed saw us or if he was looking at the car parked in the middle of the street. But I wasn't ready to give up our identity just yet. Well, soon not. If he comes to this corner and turns right, he's following. He's keeping distance. So it was time to observe as we slowly drove away. He seemed to keep his distance and luckily we saw a cheeky hideaway. As we parked our car, the copper drove right past us. I could hear chopper rotors whirling in the distance, but no sounds of sirens. Are we in the clear? He just got out. Something didn't quite feel right about all of this. I'm hoping he hasn't gone upstairs and creeping around behind us. Dave made a great point, so I sneaked upstairs to see if he was still hiding around somewhere. He definitely is. He's uh, circling his car park. Like. And just as we both suspected, there he was. But still, he was just poking around. And this idiot cop wanted all the glory for himself, so he never asked for backup. He thought he could take us both out in one sneaky strike, but he walked straight into our trap. Good job. <laughs> Oh, meanwhile on the cop side, GTA man was on a wild goose chase in hot pursuit of what he thought was us but ended up being just another regular old NPC. It is quite refreshing to see that the NPCs work with us for once instead of always against us. And this was an omen of things to come. We learned how to weaponize the NPCs and bend them to our will. <laughs> oh, oh. In the meantime, we obtained the Blue Issy, a decently fast car. The gunshots could be heard from blocks away though, and surely there were cops looking for their fallen comrade. And just one street over from the parking lot, a SWAT van came right for us. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, he passes by. While the Issy is an excellent choice of vehicle, we have to swap this out. When we get chased by a million cops, this is not the vehicle you want to be in. But luckily, Faith threw us a little bone right down the street. Not one, but two glorious Inferni showed up. A red one, a black one. And there it was once again, that luck was on our side. We had a choice to make, red or black and this choice proved to be the difference between a potential chase or us just driving away because just down the street the black inference was still panicking of us stealing one of the two and guess what well, it's good no i mean that's a good thing like yeah. I, want, I want eyes on him see 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think I got him last! <laughs> Man, it really seemed this was all meant to go this way. We had one kill, we avoided two chases, we went through a couple of cars. Ladies and gentlemen, if there ever was a time, if there ever was a place in the entire universe, in whatever dimension, for a quick sprung stop, ladies and gentlemen, it will be this moment right here. And so, it was indeed time for a quick sprung stop. But all good things must come to an end, but we noticed one of the cops 
to set up a roadblock. Unfortunately for him, he announced that in all chats, so we decided to set up a little trap. I replied to him, cool, we aren't going there, but guess what? It was time to orchestrate another whack. So over to Pillbox we went straight away, and just a block over we indeed found poor Fred standing right on top of the SWAT van. So it was now time to end his very existence. Ready? Hmm, it was indeed a glorious kill, but now it was time to get the hell out of town and we decided to execute a devious plan. You see, we caused a lot of commotion in the far west and all the cops are just peeping around the pillbox area for that's where poor Fred got clapped. But we already changed cars and we was headed through the middle straight towards the docks. It was awfully quiet for these five minutes and we both got in different cars to greatly expand our chances of survival. Ladies and gentlemen, after all this action, it was time to extract. The Merryweather docks proved to be a great place to hide away, but as we arrived we noticed three cops patrolling the area. And unfortunately, the cops set up a roadblock at the only road leading up to the extract and we had to make a run for it again. Shit. Cop bike behind us. Damn it! our hopes of making an illegal U-turn and just vanishing into the traffic was now gone. A cop bike has made us. But luckily, I knocked him off his bike and just like that, we were back out of there. Now the majority of the cops are still looking for us in the pillbox area. So the quicker we get rid of our two speedy vehicles and start blending in, the better. They would never expect us to stay in this area for long. And thus, I managed to get into this grey van. It was now time to play the long game. Ladies and gentlemen, we were now in it to win it, so every move could determine whether we win, whether we lose, and unfortunately, I lost Dave in all the commotion and we had to reunite ASAP. This wasn't going well. I hid away in the street and God knows how many police drove by, and unfortunately, Dave got spotted and got killed. Oh my God, you were friggin' there. I drove past you like three times. You, you can't even tell that you're that car. No, 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 I'm just sitting there. You're completely inconspicuous. I would never know. No, nah, I told you, I like a, there's a gray, a blue van and a, and a gray van. The situation was now beyond dire. I was stuck in this place and there were at least 20 cops patrolling this tiny area. To make things worse, I for whatever stupid reason thought the blue van would have been a better idea to steal and that nearly costed me my life. Now, I was stuck between this damn blue van. The challenge got more tire and dire with each and every passing second. But I saw a tiny gap, so I ran for it. But a cop came flying around a corner. Oh, he didn't see a damn thing. And now the time is upon us to start moving. I wanted to extract in the place I was initially going for. They would never expect that, right? How could they expect that? So I took my sweet time and switched cars yet again. A grey van might have been a tad too suspicious in this area, but luckily there was a truck parked up. We are inching closer, it looked safe. And well, six seconds later there was about five cops patrolling the Merryweather docks. Been waiting for that one cop car to leave, I've been several more of a pain. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting worse and worse. Yeah. But this was going to be the one. I could feel it in my bones. I just needed to get the relative safety. I need somewhere to hide before calling in the extract. Time was now running out on me. I think nowhere safe. And it was like an angel that fell down from the heavens above. A spot so cunning, so devious appeared before my eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, if there ever was a room for premature mature victory royale celebration it is this moment right here and now we have five minutes and soon 
the entire police force would be thrown at the Meriwether docks to turn this place inside out, upside down, in an attempt to find me. Five minutes is all I need to get out. The air around me became hard to breathe and the unease could be felt upon my very soul. I have never been this close and never before has this journey been this long. We have sneaked around, we had to murder in cold blood, we had a quick sprung stop, we did it all. And I deserve this moment, not just for me, but also for Dave, who is now on his way to the goddamn morgue. And as time went on, I made one terrible mistake. Stop pressing buttons, man. Holy shit. Did she see me? I had to make my move. Did she see me? Do I need to kill her? What the hell do I do? I started panicking, but the spirit of Dave spoke to me and said, It's not worth the risk, man. One shot, it's all over. And so I waited, and I waited, and time went on for what felt like an eternity. But then, the silence broke. The time was up. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the moment where we obtained the first ever elusive victory royale. After four episodes, roughly 20 rounds, we got that sweet win in. And does this mean Cops and Crook is now over? No. No, 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 no. This means season two is starting soon. An updated rule set, a new area to play in. And ladies and gentlemen, we have only just begun and the saga will carry on. Now, if you want to join in on this fun, be sure to check out twitch.tv slash GTA Man. Link in the description to join this fantastic game mode. And lastly, I'd like to give a humongous shout out to all the members. Two of the members upgraded to the hero tier, which are Chocolate Operator and Lord Megatron. So thank you guys so much. It means the world to me but of course a huge shout out to all the members old new whatever tier you are you guys are all freaking amazing and really helped me out with the channel and i really appreciate you thank you thank you i'll see you guys very soon and uh keep your eyes open because i might have a little bit of a uh, something special coming out very soon okay okay bye